Hello, I'm Neil MacDonald. I've been running megalithic tours for nearly two decades now because throughout Britain and Europe, mysterious stone structures such as this can be found dating back thousands of years. But why did our ancestors build these magnificent monuments and what were they used for? Well, in this series of short videos, I'm going to attempt to answer these questions one ancient site at a time. So please do click on subscribe and on the bell to be notified of these future videos. Here we are at Castle Rig Stone Circle, sitting high in the Northern Lake District above Keswick Town over there. And we're surrounded by a beautiful amphitheatre of mountains. We've got uh, Skiddaw here, Blencathra, Lonscale Fell, and over in the far east is Helvellyn. Now this is one of the oldest sites of its type anywhere in the world, with an orthodox archaeological age of 3,200. 3,500 BC, so that's 500, five, five and a half thousand years old. The circle's got nearly all of its uh, original 40 stones of the local metamorphic slate. It stands at 107 feet wide at its largest point, but to the east is a flattened out area, and to the north is this portal entrance. One unusual aspect here at Castle Rig is uh, this stone rectangle which is called the Sanctuary. Nobody really knows why it's here, but in 1882 on excavation there were burned wood remains found here in the middle. Another strange aspect is that a line straight through to Great Mill Fell over there, 6.6 .6 miles away, where there's again a burial with an earthworks of the same size as this and the same shape. There are also three Bronze Age burials, so they're more from 1500 to 2000 BC, so obviously of a later date, and probably a burial of somebody who was very important for this site. And you can see one here and just about see the outlying uh, circle of the burial. thought that Castle Rig was part of a much larger area of ancient sites. Stukeley originally recorded that another stone circle was in the nearby meadow and it's also thought that over in this direction where the outlining stone is there was another uh, stone not that many years ago. In 
1967, Alexandra Tom surveyed the circle and decided or came to the conclusion that the circle was set to mark out seven solar and, lo and lunar alignments throughout the year, thus making the circle a sophisticated calendar, pointing out items that would have been vitally important to local farmers. So what about the positioning of the stone circle in the landscape? Well, it's clear that it stands at some sort of a crossroads because from east to west, it marks out the passage, uh, which has now become the A66. And through the northern portal, it shows the direction right through the valley between Skiddaw and Blencathra. And Blencathra is also very important because it marks out uh, Maybrahenge way over in, in the distance, and we'll cover that on another video. So if you enjoyed the film, please do make a comment, uh, click on like and unsubscribe, and also on the little bell above to be informed of future videos. If you'd like to make a contribution to the making of these films, my PayPal and Patreon accounts are below. Tour information is at www.megalithictours.com. I hope to see you on a tour very soon, but in the meantime, have a truly megalithic time.